So I thought I'd make a follow-up video to uh, the previous one where I was showing my cucumber plants and uh, the undesirable kind of way that I was growing them, although they were growing cucumbers. Um, and uh, they ended up being Richmond Green, uh, Richmond Green Apple Cucumbers that I got from DNH Seed Company in Australia. So I'll post a link to, to that in the description. But this is what the cucumbers end up looking like. And uh, I thought they were watermelons at first. They look like tiny watermelons, this one in particular. Uh, so I had to check and make sure that they weren't. Uh, and you can see they're kind of prickly. Hopefully, hopefully you can see some of the prickles there, uh, which I'm not used to compared to store-bought cucumbers. Um, so these are heirloom cucumbers. They're an older variety with a cleaner or more pure genetic line. Uh, they're not crossed or anything like that. Um, and the first time I ate... A tomato. I grew an eight uh, heirloom tomato. I was I was almost shocked at how good it tasted. It was easily the best tasting tomato I had ever put in my mouth. Uh, so I'm waiting to grow some more of them when the weather's a bit better. Uh, the cucumber also uh, the first time I'm growing them, but I thought I'd do a taste test of one of these uh, first time eating them. Um, and uh, let's go. I've washed this one already and just sort of pushed off. The, the prickles and uh, in on some websites I've seen the Richmond green apple uh, suggested um, sort of ripening uh, with a with a more brown or orange skin to it um, but on the seed packet here itself and in some other places it seems like uh, harvesting them when they're green like this is ideal so I'm just going off that since there seems to be minimal information in my quick searches but here we go I mean I could just be eating this like that since I have washed it and the skin is generally okay but let's just get in there looks like a kind of a normal Cucumber, except what you you would uh, expect it to be if it was round. It's very crunchy, like um, it's. around the skin it's it, the the difference between its crunchiness and its softness is is more than i normally am used to with a cucumber bought from the store so the 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 crunchiness of a, of those cucumbers from the store is more consistent throughout whereas this is mushier on the inside and crunchier uh towards the outside It's, and the taste is not too much different from a store-bought cucumber. I hope I haven't been saying tomato instead of cucumber a lot in this video. Um, but it does have a different kind of zestiness to it. Very, very mild zestiness or tanginess. It's, it's hard to really put my finger on it because uh, that's the first time and you can see sort of cutting through it it's not a clean cut when I go through the seed area the, the, the seeds are very much packed in there compared to what I'm used to with a store-bought one This is definitely, it's definitely <laughs> more suitable as a snack than 
a regular cucumber as well. Just the the satisfaction of, of, of its texture is more suited to that, I think. I know it sounds like I'm saying a weird kind of a thing, but given the size of them as well, uh, you know, as a, as a snack that you can just carry around and just chomp on, uh, I, I guess you can do that with a regular cucumber. It's just uh, regular cucumber, you tend to want to add extra things to it, you know? Whereas this, uh, to me, it tastes like something that uh, st can stand on its own and, uh, uh, you know, uh, be, sa be satisfying on its own. Mm. And the seeds, of course, I'll save some of them so I don't have to buy more. So I can plant more of these things, but uh, that is very satisfying. I've got a, another one to give to a friend of mine so she can try it. And that was a interesting experience. It's, uh, it's good to try new things, and uh, especially when you've created those things, uh, and especially when you, you are moving in the direction of being more self-sufficient as well. It's uh, very satisfying. Thanks for watching.